holy cow, crazy gusts of winds during various times. Wasn't able to fly too high and so forth, at least it wasn't raining, I guess. And what's going on today? Lots about war and stuff in the world still, but I guess these were kind of interesting reads where apparently there's various places wanting to use drones for various tasks. How about this one? This one says, purchase of a trash drone under consideration. It's far from the most costly item listed in Belleville's proposed capital budget for this year, but it is unique. Council will see an overview of a draft capital spending plan Monday, and one of the items to be considered is the purchase of a trash drone. Staff say they've received numerous complaints from residents and tourists alike regarding garbage floating in the water at Victoria Harbour in Myers Pier. A trash drone is self-guiding and can drop down to pick up water bottles, plastics and other kinds of trash floating on the water surface. The cost of such a drone is $120,000. I've seen actually pictures and videos of these types of drones before. They literally just go around against the water collecting all the trash it sees. That's kind of expensive but I guess is it worth it as well? It's doing tasks that a lot of people wouldn't normally, I guess, want to do or wouldn't be able to do efficiently, whereas you could have this thing go automated, I guess. And more places wanting to use things like drone deliveries. This one says, drone carries blood and cancer drugs between hospitals to cut emissions. A drone is being used by an NHS trust to transport blood samples, cancer treatment, and other drugs between hospitals as part of a trial aimed at reducing delivery times and cutting harmful carbon emissions. Northumbria Healthcare said the innovative four-month project would start on Monday, 13th of February and take place at Wansbeck General Hospital, Ashington Alnwick Infirmary. Initially, six test flights will carry clinical supplies, prescriptions, blood packs and mail between the three hospitals which cover a roughly 50 mile stretch along the east coast. It seems like a lot of innovation is coming from delivering things like medicine and all that. It says this will increase to 15 in May if the trial proves successful, with the trust collecting logistical data to assess the impact on patient experience, staff resources, as well as environmental benefits. And of course, according to this, it says the CAA over there gave them full permission to conduct this project. And it says this project will use fully electric aircraft, which can take off and land vertically like a helicopter before flying horizontally like a plane by combining fixed wings with rotors. The UAVs, which are managed by Skyport's drone services, can carry up to three kilograms of payload and have a maximum speed of 110 kilometers an hour. It makes me wonder too for people over there, since they approved this operation and test flight, did they actually restrict the airspace for everybody? For example, someone who wants to fly a drone just for fun to capture pictures and so forth, or even manned aircraft, because it makes you wonder again. It's great to hear more people innovating and wanting to use drones in these ways, but will that mean, I guess, commercialization and so forth of the sky where no one can use it recreationally anymore as well?
Alright, see you guys later.